Mission statements really ought to state the ultimate purpose of an organisation, like its desired impact for its customers. Now, to know if an organisation is fulfilling its mission, and isn't that important to know? Then it needs to be measured, but most mission statements are immeasurable. What makes mission statements immeasurable is essentially the way they're written. If you've read my blogs and books over the years or watched any other video on this YouTube channel, you know I accuse weasel words of making our goals immeasurable. We first have to overcome that problem and write our mission statements more clearly and specifically, perhaps like these. To prevent cruelty to animals by actively promoting their care and protection. That's from the RSPCA. To make Australia the most desirable destination on earth, from Australian tourism, to make Australian sports stronger, to get more people playing sport and to help athletes pursue their dreams, the Australian Institute of Sport. These mission statements are measurable because they clearly spell out the impact that they want to make and for whom they want to make that impact. The National Alliance to End Homelessness or the NAEH in the United States also has a very clear mission. The NAEH works toward ending homelessness by improving homelessness policy, building on the ground capacity and educating opinion leaders. And to prove how well they are fulfilling this mission, they use measures like these. Average length of time persons remain homeless. Median length of time persons remain homeless. Percent of persons who return to homelessness number of homeless persons, percentage of homeless persons who gain or increase income, number of persons who become homeless for the first time. Using measures like these, it's much easier to prove the impact that change programs have. To contribute to ending homelessness, one change program raised average incomes of people from 910 per month to more than $2,000 per month within a year and a half. And another change program for assisting people to remain in permanent housing exceeded their target of 75% and reached 77%. The key to measuring a mission in the simplest way is to describe tangibly the outcomes that we want. So following this basic four-step framework that the NAEH uses, here's how to do it. Who is the base population for your goal? Describe specifically who or what your organisation is trying to impact. What did you hope to achieve with this population? So describe, ideally in language a 10-year-old would understand, what that impact looks like. Within this population, how many persons achieved it? This is the kind of data you'll capture to quantify the impact. And if you want to rate, divide the number at step three by the number of those in the base population from step one, if you know that population size. The NAEH have published their approach to measurement and I've got a link to it in the video description. And I also have a link to where I interviewed Bill Sermons about this when he was the director of the Homelessness Research Institute, which was part of the National Alliance to End Homelessness. I'm curious though, do you measure your mission in your organisation? If you do, Please inspire us by sharing your mission and its measures. And if you don't, please share what makes it so hard to do. I'd love to hear from you in the comments, as always.